its first big update is out now. Don't like to read the patch notes? Then let's go over the highlights together and see what's new. Introducing Hollow Holes, a series of unique, massive dungeons won in each biome. We've heard the community's call for more challenging combat exploration, and with this new update, we're excited nice. to we're bring it to you. dungeons, very cool. With the introduction of dungeons, we are also expanding our enemy faction, adding new craftable props, exclusive legendary rewards and your hard-won trophies, a mysterious crafting station with its own recipes, and new quests, one of which leads you to a brand new spooky NPC. But that's not all. We are also removing the 60Hz limitation and updating our camera motion to support higher frame rates and refresh rates. Oh, that's fantastic. We have also reworked one of our town's Willow Crush that you can explore, as well as some of our locations that have been improved and are now more polished. For those enchanted by mystical worlds and cozy underground homes, we've crafted round doors and windows just for you. Get ready to elevate your Get creations your to new all. heights or new lows. And wait, there is more. Now you can actually sit down on furniture. Whether you've had a long day and need a break, had an urgent need to isolate okay. yourself and think for a while, and some or just want to enjoy the view with your friends, the possibilities are endless. Are you a botanist at heart? We've got you covered with potted plants. Simply visit Emily the farm and once you have crafted a kiln to access various types of leafy friends. And that's not all. We're expanding the variety of tree seedlings too, available at your seed bed station. Now let's talk about quality of life you updates. Out there. Our loot UI design has received an overall. You are also now able to craft stacks of items instead of having to furiously spam the space button. The gift UI has also been greatly improved for ease of transferring items. Content of magic chests is also now available for workshops. That oh, way, you no longer QOL. have to sprint from your chest to the workshop. Fantastic. Want a more in-depth player stats? We've got you covered. Stack splitting has also been enhanced, allowing for more flexibility in splitting stacks. With the new ping function on the world map, multiplayer coordination just got easier. No more shouting at Steve for going in a completely opposite direction. Simply point them to the specific area you want to meet up on the map. And lastly, for those struggling to find friends servers, worry no more. You can now locate servers via IP address with an added feature to conceal the address for those of you that stream so that Dark Sasuke will not raid your base while you are out on an adventure. <laughs> <laughs> and you thought that this is it. There is more. But who am I kidding? If you're interested in seeing all the fixes and improvements, look out for the patch notes available on Steam, Discord, or our website. And if you want to help us spread the word, comment below with good work, guys. And until then, we will see you in the next one. All right, we just saw the video update for Hollow Halls, the first major update coming here with the game Enshrouded. Uh, fantastic survival game. If you haven't uh, played it yet, or if you're not used to playing these type of survival games, for me, it was a great introduction to the genre. Um, these type of survival games aren't my forte. I don't have a lot of experience playing them, but diving into Enshrouded, the world, the systems. Uh, it was very easy to get acclimated to everything and most importantly, have fun. So Enshrouded is a fantastic game. Go and check it out. The Hollow Halls update is here. Now this is directly from the Enshrouded website. Hollow Halls update, March 26, 2024. Greeting Flameborn. Our first update is finally here. Just a few weeks ago, we were releasing our first roadmap and now we're already ticking a bunch of those boxes. As a team, it feels good. Our goal for each update is to include new content, new features, improvements to existing features, as well as the usual fixes and polish. The biggest part of the update is undoubtedly the hollow halls. You can read more of them below, but a word of advice before you proceed, the encounters will test your metal and we strongly recommend preparing well and bringing your best food items, as well as campfires to rest during your exploration. It is possible to run these as a solo player, but it might be a very challenging experience, and we recommend bringing some friends along. If you team up with strangers, remember that you can create a backup of your save files. And of course, since we're in early access, we are very eager to hear your thoughts on the Hollow Halls. Do let us know what you think once you've given them a try. 
as always let me know your thoughts on the hollow halls as you experience it in the comment section of this video or drop into one of my live streams as we're playing in shrouded love to hear your feedback and input and it goes on here the change log for update number one version 0.7.1.0 highlights each biome has a new playable area called the hollow halls with enemies and challenges corresponding to the level of the biome these daunting new dungeons come with a multitude of new challenges and exciting rewards there's new quests leading through the new content talk to the alchemist to get started new enemies await you in the depths a new survivor can be discovered in the hollow halls unlock a new crafting station with new recipes there's new weapons, building blocks, furniture, decorative props, and a lot more can be found. The 60 Hertz issue has been solved, providing a smoother experience at higher frame rates. Emily the Farmer now offers potted plants to everyone who wants to add that little extra bit of color to the porch. Make sure that the base has access to a kiln to craft the pots. Kate the Carpenter now offers a new set of round doors and windows, like they explained in the vid. The seedbed workstation now allows growing additional tree seedlings. Many trees receive new growing stages. Player characters can sit on furniture such as chairs, benches, thrones, and toilets. The town of Willow Crush in the Revel Woods has been completely reworked and some other areas have been improved. It also goes into the quality of life improvements, technical improvements and stability, rendering and performance, and of course, gameplay. And there you have it, Enshrouded Hallow Halls update dropping today, Tuesday, March 26th. I'm excited to get into the new content. What are your thoughts on what we just saw? What are your thoughts on what we just read? As always, let us know in the comments below. And until the next time, Flameborn, have fun in Embervale. Thank you for watching. Likes and shares are kindly appreciated. And subscribe for more content. Peace.